Things coming along? <laughs> Easy. <laughs> I'm starting to Holy crap, what an open-ended <laughs> question. Uh, they're coming along. I mean, just looking back to the scrimmage, there were some really good moments. Um, and then there's things we definitely need to work on. Um, things we need to evaluate as a staff, things we need to get better on as players and coaches. Um, but they're, the guys are in a good place right now. They're doing everything we ask. I think we're right on track as far as installs go. I think we're, we're kind of finding out who we are and what we can do well. We're throwing a lot of situations at them now. We're starting to do some two-minute and you know game, more game-like situations and playing the game. So there's a lot of really good teaching moments. Um, but they're, they're working. You know, these are the these are the tough days of camp. You know, you're kind of you're not really almost there yet, but you know, you're starting to get a little tired physically and mentally. You got to push through, um, and you got to find you got to find it within, and then you got to find it, you know, to do it for the guy next to you. And you got to stay locked in, even if you don't have the juice. And that's what I keep trying to tell them. It's not gonna be loud every day. It's not gonna be rah rah every day. But you have to be so focused every single day, because if you're not, you have no chance to play this game. So a lot of good teaching moments. What, when does the Rutgers prep start? I'm not sure yet. Um, you know, I'm going to get through. I'm going to get through tomorrow and the next day, and then we're going to scrimmage again. Continue to work on ourselves. We might sprinkle in, you know, some things here and there, but I want them to focus on us right now. Uh, we're just we're not we're not ready yet to get away from that, and there's still some position battles that I want to see how it pans out. Um, so close, but right now it's still on us. Coach, you mentioned the, the tough days of camp. I'm sure you've seen what's happened at Patriots camp the last few days with the fights. Two-parter. One, were you ever part of a, a big you know, brouhaha, whether it was high school, college, or the, the NFL? And second, more importantly, um, I started to see the reaction. Um, can you kind of get something out of that in terms of you know, team camaraderie, team building, or is it just a complete waste of time? I don't know. Um, you want guys to play with an edge. You want them to. You know, in the, in the NFL, you get. In the NFL, you get a lot of those inter squad practices, right? So I've been part of those, and I think there's been a fight just about every one I've ever coached. I mean, that's the truth. Especially in those practices. Sometimes you do those practices for one day, sometimes you do them two or three. Usually in the second day, it gets a little chippy, and if you do a third day, it really. You know, some guy, we think he cheap shot at me in the second day, and now I'm going to. I don't know. Do you get anything out of them? Sometimes. Is it a waste of time? Yeah. If someone throws a punch and breaks their hand and is out, or you hurt somebody on the other team, um, then, it, then, it's, then it's bad. Um, so I'm not sure. There, there's going to be, you're going to have a couple skirmishes. I mean, it's a tough sport. You get hit. Um, you get drugged to the ground. I just want them to, I want to teach them that. I want, I want you to pop up and I want you to be pissed off. But, Handle it within the next play, and, and find out who it was, and go after them. Go after them in between the whistles. And if you do it, if you do it in between, you're going to get flagged. And then that's selfish, and it's going to hurt the team. So there's huge teaching moments in that. And it's usually the second guy who gets the flag. And you can't afford to do any of that. We had one in our scrimmage, and it led to the ball now being on the plus 25. And now there's points on the board because a certain player was selfish and did something he shouldn't do after the play. And that's a great teaching moment for us to show. Do it in between the whistles. Yeah. That's what the game's meant to be. All the other stuff got me heated a little there. <laughs> have you ever been in a brouhaha? No, I was there for both of them this week, though. Never. Mayhem. You never got involved in your own? No. I don't, well, I'm not a cross guy. I don't, I don't believe that. Watch <laughs> it. He's got that look in his eyes. Feisty. Can you talk a little bit about the scrimmage on Monday? What are some of the takeaways that you brought? Yeah. Um, gosh, the scrimmage feels like, like a year ago. Um, you know, I thought the defense played really fast, really aggressive. Um, the offense hit some explosive plays. I think both sides need to be more consistent. Um, you know, it's funny, AJ, when you look, when you look at a scrimmage with some of the younger guys, the scrimmage is not, not much different than what we did today. Like, when we finish practice today, we put the ball down and we play. Mm -hmm. You know, first in town, the minus 20, and the refs are there, and sometimes I'll spot the ball and change it down at this, but we're playing. But as soon as you call it a scrimmage, what happens? Some guys tense up a little bit and anxiety creeps in because it's a scrimmage now, right? There's nothing different. So you got to teach through those moments to some of the young guys that tensed up a little bit. And then there's the guys that don't flinch. Um, so you get a lot out of it. Um, I thought our specialists did a good job. I think in some areas we're, we're right on track and some we're behind. And then in others we're a little bit ahead. We just need to bring it together so by the time we get to game week, 
we're, we're continuing to improve. And in some areas, honestly, it's going to take early in the season, right, to play against opponents and see where we're at and continue to grow and develop because there's some young guys in some inexperienced positions. And they got to learn. When they make mistakes, they can't panic. Learn from it and then correct it and then just give your best. And we'll live with that and we'll get better because they'll get better because they work. Any update on Jalen or Drew? Drew was? Drew, Drew was out there for a little bit and Jalen's out there. I think you guys saw uh, doing some. Not full yet, but I'm, I'm very hopeful that they'll both be back soon. Um, so that's my honest answer for you. So unlikely it's a long term thing for either? No, not going to work. I hope it's not a long term thing for either of them. Yeah. I'm, I'm confident that they'll be, they'll be out there. Coach, high school football starts tomorrow here. Um, how much are you kind of able to follow it during the season? Um, and just in general, how nice is it to have you know, football back to a normal seat, I guess, around here? It's great. Um, yeah, I'll follow it. I'll reach out to the coaches, uh, reach out to some today, text some today, wish them good luck as they get started, um, hit some of the guys um, that we're recruiting, wish them good luck, and then definitely follow them. You know? um, Talk to some of those coaches before and after games, same with the players, and just anything we can do to help them. You know, we had some high school coaches at practice because they haven't started yet, and, and that's awesome. And if they want to come in and sit in and learn from us, and we can help them help football continue to grow in this area. But it's getting better, which is awesome to see. So I'm excited, and I wish everybody good luck as they get started. And, um, you know, I'm excited to get out to some games. Any memories from your first days of camp, or I guess not so good memories? From, from high school? Oh gosh, high school? I'd have to go. You're, you're talking about some serious years of football memories, me playing high school in camp. Well, just kind of the feel you would have had that first day. Do you yeah. remember that? Yeah, it's the best. I mean, you get back with your friends you grew up with, and you're in the locker room for the first time. And at that point, you know, my field, the ground was probably hard as a rock, and there was no restrictions on how many days you had in pads or how many times you could practice. and. Um, just pushing through with your friends that you grew up with. That's where, that's where high school football is the best. And again, I've said it, I've coached in some really big NFL games, some really, really big college games. Some of the best memories are with guys you grew up with, going first, second, third grade with, and all of a sudden you're in the locker room with them, you're junior, senior in high school, and you're just so tight and you have all those memories. Um, and that's what makes it fun. You mentioned how you're ahead in some areas. What are some areas you think you guys are really doing well at right now? Um, I think there's some areas on defense where we're ahead of where we were. Um, we're able, we've been able to put in a lot more, and I think that's where we're at. Um, schematically, these guys are kind of used to what we've done the past two years, and we've been able to really take a step and change some things, add some stuff, and, and they've, um, they've done a really good job adjusting to it. Um, there's areas on offense where I say I think our receivers are ahead right now than where they were. Um, I think our quarterbacks are playing really well. You know, they can play better, um, just like our receivers and defense can play better. But there's definitely some bright spots, and um, even the spots where we're not where we need to be, they're they're getting there, and they're working really hard. And in time, I think they'll be really good. All right, guys. Good. Cool. All right, guys.